Okay, friends. Uh, now let's talk about the non-canonical structures of DNA. As we know, DNA is the most important, probably the most important part of a cell uh, that that uh, can exist uh, in Earth from the beginning of the life, which is continuing the journey of life uh, throughout the evolutionary history. Now, this DNA, as we know, can be found in various structures. In previous times, it has been thought that DNA is only found in one type of structures, which is generally uh, seen is the double helical structure of DNA. And among those double helical structure, now we know that there are variations. Sometimes those structures, the orientations are varying, their helix pitch is varying, and number of residue per turn will vary, and that will change uh, the structure of DNA to make different types of DNA like A DNA, B DNA, and Z DNA. Among those DNAs, B DNA is the most common one. What uh, Watson Creek, uh, Creek was uh, proposed, Watson Creek proposed to us the structure of that B DNA. Now nowadays we know that th that B DNA what we, uh, we we used to know about a very parallel uh, conformation of uh, two two strands winding with each other to make a structure is not at all parallel and stabilized like that. It is uh, it is sometimes twisted. It is sometimes bended and. Uh, it, it produces several types of structural uh, features, structural modifications and the structural modification leads to the production of really really complicated structures of DNA. Now uh, the modern investigations about DNA structure will help us to understand uh, the interactions of DNA strands with each other. Uh, due to the presence of different types of DNA sequences inside the DNA which will determine the structure of DNA. Sometimes the DNA will, will, will uh, make a triple helical structure, sometimes it makes a structure with four strands and to make different types of structure. Some of the structures are favorable in nature, some of them are not very much favorable due to the sterical hindrance but still this kind of structure can be seen uh, in different forms of cellular uh, processing like uh, molecular processes like from uh, DNA replication to the protein translation. Uh, okay. Now, uh, what is the driving force for having those uh, different varieties of structure inside the DNA? Is the one answer for that is uh, the presence of different types of sequences. So this is the DNA sequences that determines the structure of DNA that determines the exact structure of DNA or how the structure of the DNA will be. So as we know that uh, all, all the basis of the structural features has been giving a rise uh, to because of the presence of DNA structures. So different types of DNA structure give a rise to different types of DNA. Now let me take a color. So here we have this. Okay. Now uh, here we uh, start to talk about this as we know that this kind of structures are being favored because of the uh, process of specific DNA sequences and sequence motifs. Okay, so r the presence of specific DNA sequences r sometimes they are repeated, sometimes they are inverted, sometimes they are mirror repeats out there, sometimes they, they will attach together in some different ways, sometimes we have a direct repeat of or poly uh, nu nucle nucleotide sequences like poly G or poly A, poly T like sequences. This kind of sequences give rise to different uh, non canonical structures of DNA. Some of them are being called the cruciform structures, some of them are called the HDNA, some of them are called the quadruplex DNA, the triplex DNA and the slippery DNA and all this type of DNA. Uh, I am going to discuss about all this type of DNA one by one. Now in this case what we know what type of different uh, structural sequential motifs we can find in uh, DNA structure is uh, one is uh, the inverted repeat. Second one is a pa so we can find inverted repeats, palindromic repeats, mirror repeats, and direct repeats. So these are the four type of repeat sequences that we can find in a DNA. And these repeat sequences plays a very important role to make structures like quadruplex DNA and triplex DNA. We'll see in uh, in a later uh, part of our discussion. Now we can also find uh, the continuous residue of homopurine or homopyrimidine. So if you have homopurine residues like homo uh, so poly A or sometimes poly T uh, uh, homopyrimidine gives a poly T, so that's, these things can be found. So we can find the G rich region. We can find the AT rich sequences. So all the presence of all these different types of sequences have different types of consequences. Suppose, as we know. If you are having G rich sequences, then uh, the opposite of that we have to have C sequence uh, according to the law of uh, Shargoff, uh, rule of Shargoff's ratio. Now, for having this, as we know, G e pairs with C with three 
hydrogen bonds so this uh, pairing is really strong so if we are having higher amount of GC bonds that means that the melting temperature for the DNA will be high so we need high temperature to add for melting the temperature uh, the DNA is, uh, down or separate those strands of DNA now if a DNA is made up with more and more AT rich sequences that means A and T pair with each other uh, in normally in less common uh, in, in less uh, strength uh, less there is two hydrogen bonding that means uh, uh, if we are find uh, having this more and more AT rich sequences then it, it will be easier for bending the DNA from this AT rich regions so we will uh, we'll see all these things in my later part of our discussion now let's begin from the different types of repeats now here we are talking about the different types of repeats uh, that we can find uh, inside the structure of a DNA so for example in the first place we are talking about the, the simple from simple uh, which is a direct repeat now if you start from here as you can see uh, from this 5 prime to 3 prime direction so it is anti parallel orientation 5 prime to 3 prime then then inversely 3 prime to 5 uh, 5 prime to 3 prime in the inverse direction now we have T C A G A G so after uh, this part we can see the invert uh, this repeat sequences now again it the same sequence is repeating so T C A G uh, G A G again T C A G A G so this is a repeating one after another so one two three then again one two three that is called the direct repeat what we can see in this case same thing happens in the opposite direction but maintaining the complementary nature of the DNA that means if we have a G in the opposite side we have, a, we have to have a C so if you think C T C T G A then from here again we have to have C T C T G A okay now let's uh, focus on the mirror repeats now what is a mirror repeat as the name suggests if we consider a mirror at this uh, particular plane here then you can find this sequence in the in this left hand side t t a g c a c and uh, if we put a mirror what the other mirror image that you can find in the opposite side of the mirror is c a c g a t t like that so c a c g a t t look at this so and same thing can happen uh, in opposite side as you can see because uh, all these things are formed this bond uh, this the double strands are formed bonds using the complementary nature of the dna so we can see the same thing here so we have to say that we have a 5 prime here 3 uh, 3 prime so this direction has to be maintained properly and again here is the 5 prime and here is the 3 prime okay so the direction has to be maintained properly but still this is called a mirror repeat but because we can consider a mirror in in this plane and after plating, uh, putting this mirror we can find this sequence looking at the mirror that's why it's called a mirror sequence so uh, if I do like this 1 2 3 then the sequence will be 3 2 1 after right after 1 2 3 so here is a mirror so this is called the mirror sequence now let us talk about the final one which is a palindromic sequences which is a little bit complicated but is uh, simple so just look at here this is the same uh, like this mirror repeat but instead of having this mirror placed on the same plane we will place it in the opposite strand okay so in this case what we can see the mirror has been put in the same strand that's why we are fi finding this mirror repeat but in palindromes this is also we are talking about a mirror repeat but the the mirror which the imaginary mirror has been placed not in uh, in the the same strand where we talk about the first sequence uh, the mirror is placed in the other strand so we are uh, considering st uh, this this strand so T T A G C A C but we are putting the mirror in the opposite strand that means not in this strand if we call strand A and strand B then we, uh, we have to put the mirror on strand B after putting this mirror on strand B at this place then you can find from here C A C G A T T so again C A C G A T T so the sequence will be this is the part so we have 1 2 3 we have to put the mirror but we are not putting the mirror in this uh, strand we are putting it here so from here we have 3 2 1 but in, in the mirror sequence what we find in, in the mirror repeat we have 1 2 3 we are putting the mirror on the same strand and we are having 3 2 1 okay so that is the difference between this palindromic sequence and mirror repeats